stay and in Denmark here and rah 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 we made it to the end of another week uh, I don't know if you've noticed this week but I'm only posting like Monday Wednesday Friday I'm onto my summer schedule now uh, but I'm still on Instagram and uh, I just wanted to um, bring together a, a few wee things that have happened this week on uh, Wednesday you know anti-procrastination day in fly lady land I mentioned that I'm going to visit mum next week in Edinburgh and I'm actually just getting out. I bought a few of these uh, wee bottles to decant things like oh, my foundation and some cream uh, because Helena had had some little ones like this when we went on our trip to Nice. If you, if you didn't see my trip to Nice with my besties, Vipik and Helena, go and have a look at that. Uh, let me see. That way. Up, up there. I'll, I'll put a link up there. And remember, when I go like that, that means if you touch the screen up there where I'm pointing, it will take you to that video or video series. Anyway, Helena had some of these wee bottles and I thought it was a really good idea instead of... And, you know, I don't need to take much to Mum's house because Mum's got everything there. But there are a few things that'd be nice and I'll just need to remember and label them so I know, you know, what, what's in what's in these little bottles. Anyway, uh, and I've got my wee um, ballerina flats that uh, I got the last clothes for party. Anyway, I was getting stuff ready for going to Edinburgh. And I mentioned uh, on Instagram that my anti-procrastination task on Wednesday was to phone um, Links of London. Now, Links of London, they, they're a company that make, um, you know, silver jewellery. And for my 40th birthday, I got one of these uh, bracelets. Now, I haven't worn it a lot recently because it's got like an elastic, it, it, it's silver uh, with wee charms on it. Um, there's my wee Scottish one, there we go. Uh, and, I, and I got this for my 40th birthday from the family. Uh, but I haven't been wearing it recently because it's it's an elasticated thing and you know over time it's kind of worn down a bit and I'm, I'm worried that it's going to break and I had actually I was thinking of wearing it this morning but I don't want to tempt fate because I'm taking it to Edinburgh next week. Anyway, long story short, I, I got in touch with Links of London and they actually have a, a service where they will uh, re-thread your bracelet for you and clean it up. And I had, I'd been putting phone, off phoning because um, I'm an introvert. And I know a lot of you say, how can you be an introvert? Because the uh, kind of bubbly personality. And, and that's true, but I find it easy to talk to the camera. But in real life, um, I'm, I'm very introvert. But I'm fine with my, my friends. You know, when I'm with my friends, I'm life and soul of the party. Anyway, I'd been putting off this telephone and I made the telephone call and said, yes, no problem. It's free, the service. Yeah said the canny Scott. Uh, so, and I'm going to be um, putting that aside to take to Edinburgh with me next week. So what all this is leading up to is that, you know, I've had this bracelet for 10 years. And when you've got something, you know, that you enjoy, what, just because it's getting old doesn't mean that it's not <laughs> worth anything anymore. And also you've got to look after it. Now, you, you've seen the same thing with me with my many of my clothes. I mean, you've seen it, like that sundress behind me. I rem I've actually had that for over 10 years because I remember going to dinner with my Scottish family and I was wearing that dress when I got it for my 40th. So it's actually, I'm, I'm going to be 51 at the end of the month, so it's actually 11 years old. And the point I'm trying to make here is you need to look after yourself because you may think, Oh, I'm getting older and but if you just look after yourself like we do with you know the things that we enjoy <laughs> you can last forever now and I've had so many questions the, the last basically six weeks since we had this heat wave because you've seen me in my um, all my summer dresses and a lot of people have been commenting on my arms and you know how healthy I look blah 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 blah, blah. and I've told you I don't you know, I don't go to the gym, I'm not lifting weights, but what I am doing is I'm getting out every day and getting a wee bit of exercise. You know, I'm down for my, my sea swim in the morning and, you know, we're not talking like five kilometres or, you know, we're, we're not swimming a lot, but we're swimming a bit. We're doing it consistently. And it's the same with you. If you'll, if you'll just take, take the time to be nice to yourself, you know, drink your water, make sure that you, you know, get a haircut from time to time. Wear, wear your nice clothes. Uh, this, this is one of the ones that I mentioned when I was doing 
I think I was doing, a, was I doing a declutter in here? Yeah, probably. Uh, and I, I was mentioning that this, this is a dress that I bought for a special occasion last year. And I haven't worn it since because it was right down to my ankles. But the other day, uh, and I got Vibika to help me to find a, a good length. And I have, um, hold on, I'll just show you. Whoop, here we are. I just um, measured it, cut it off, and here I am, and I'm wearing it today. And because Vibika said to me, you know, did you take that dress up? And I said, yeah, and I think I'll keep it for my birthday. And then I could hear myself. And I thought, why am I keeping it to wear on my birthday? I can wear it like today, as I said before. Today is a special occasion. Every day is a special occasion. And as my friend uh, Liz, a, a Scottish um, uh, girl that I used to work with in Luxembourg, her, her dad always used to say, it's a great day for the... <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm going to start laughing. Okay, it's a great day for the race. And, you know, people will say, you know, what race? And you say, the human race. And I love that. You've just got to embrace every day because we don't know what's around the corner, you know, and I've had friends, you know, of my age uh, die and, you know, and I don't want to be morbid about it, but what are you waiting for? So let's, you know, as long as looking after our houses, you know, with the fly lady system and doing our wee routines. And remember, when, when you're doing your fly lady routines or any kind of routines, you're doing the work that you would have been doing anyway, but you're just doing it in a more productive way. So you're saving yourself time and energy. So along with all the fly lady stuff about, you know, zone cleaning and weekly own blessing and, you know, morning routine, make sure to look after you, okay? Because hopefully you, you've got a long, you know, many years ahead of you and, you know, we want to enjoy yourself. That's the whole point of, of doing these routines is it to give you more time to do the things that you want and maybe to discover what you've been missing if you've lost your mojo. Anyway, I won't talk much longer because I'm off out um, for my morning swim with uh, Vibika and we, we're kind of um, doing breakfast swims at the morning uh, th uh, this time. Um, so I've got um, <laughs> get a fried uh, ham and cheese sandwich, you know, a croque monsieur that, that, and some raspberry. So that's my breakfast. Uh, and the other thing I want to say was if you're not already uh, with us on Instagram, you, you can find everybody who's posting this wee community, hashtag Diane in Denmark, come and join us. Some of the uh, ladies are doing a, a wee challenge themselves at the moment on working on their morning routine. Now that this time of year is a fantastic time of year to work on your morning routine, especially if you have kids or especially if it's really heating up or conversely if you're going into darkness in the southern hemisphere because sometimes when we get into that kind of you know summer rut or the kids are on holiday rut or you know you've been on vacation rut it, it we tend to slide we, we tend to slide backwards and say oh, can't be bothered doing my morning routine instead of just you know uh, hold on let me just put this down uh, instead of you know making sure of course that it's written down maybe setting some alarms on your telephone so that, oh, you've got that reminder, oh yeah, I meant to be uh, hanging up my lol, load of laundry, that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm just waiting for the, uh, for the washing machine to do its final spin and get them hung up outside. Uh, if, if you just make sure that you must have it written down somewhere, whether you, you do old school piece of paper on your telephone, whatever works for you, and just, you know, put your blinkers on, get your routine done, you know, whether it's morning or evening, that's your problem on. And then it, it will free you up for the rest of the day. And then, you, then you've got the rest of the day guilt-free and you don't have that, oh, in your head, you know, that kind of um, candy floss in your head right now, like, oh, what, what's it I'm supposed to be doing? So get it written down on a list uh, and make sure that you plan some time for you, you know, that you're doing some nice for yourself, whether that would be um, reading a book. You know, I love to read um, in the summer. It gives me that, oh, I love to read all the real year round, but it gives me that holiday feeling of, you know, just sitting with a book. Uh, I'm going to be playing some more uh, CSGO today and it's the CSGO. Uh, there's a championship on the telly on Sunday afternoon from Wimbledon. So I'm, I know what I'm going to be watching. Uh, but anyway, 
do something nice for you. Uh, remember to wear your, your, your nice gear, you know, you, you can't take it with you, you know. So anyway, that's it for me. I'm, I'm going to get out and get my laundry hung up. Uh, have a great weekend. I will see you on Monday. I'll, I'll be making a video on Monday. And I've also filmed a, a couple of wee things for next week so that there's no excuse for, <laughs> for skiving off while I'm not here. Anyway, that's it for me. Uh, Diane in Denmark saying live long and prosper. Have a fantastic weekend. Um, we're going to be up to 30 degrees Celsius again today, which is what, 80 something F. So, so we're all about sundresses still. Anyway, I shall um, see you on Instagram and otherwise on Monday on YouTube. Okay, bye for now.